there was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max, then he took some red thread and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh and he hitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, giddy up, and the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air. All the Who's were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house on the square, this is stop number one, the old Grinchy Claus hissed, and he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch, but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two, then he stuck in his head out of the fireplace flew. When the little who stockings all hung up in a row, these stockings he grinned are the first to go. And he slittered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags, then the Grinch very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he slunk to the ice box. He took the who's piece. He took the who pudding. He took the roast piece. He cleaned out that ice box as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took their last can of who hash. Not the who hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. And he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou, who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter, who'd got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot, the fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on the street that won't light up on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there. Then I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head and he got her a drink and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then the last thing he took was the log for their fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that it was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other whose houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. It was quarter past dawn, all the who's still abed, all the who's still snoozed when he packed up his sled, packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags, and the tinsels, the trimmings, the trappings. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mr. Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the who's, he was grinchly humming, they're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up, I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang up a minute or two. Then the who's down in Whoville will all cry, boo hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his hand into his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was Mary, very. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every Who down at Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came somehow or other. It came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till this puzzler was 
was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he... He himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beef. The end. All right, you look like you are falling asleep, aren't you? Okay, well, I hope you have a good sleep and you will be able to wake up tomorrow and open your presents and spend it with your loved one and your families. And